What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preview of the 2014 Boca Raton Bowl between the Marshall Thundering Herd and the Northern Illinois Huskies. Now let's take a look at some coaching points for both teams in this ball game, starting with Marshall. For Marshall in this ball game, quarterback Raheem Cato can't be reckless with the football. Now overall this season, he has been fine as far as protecting the ball, interceptions, fumbles, not forcing plays. But as of recently, he has been a little bit reckless, and that can't happen this week versus a very good defense in Northern Illinois. And winning on first down is definitely important this week versus the Huskies. When you look at what they do well, they control the clock, they can run the football, and a lot of what they do is off of play action. So again, winning on first down, forces them to break tendencies, which is a win for the Marshall defense. And this game is all about tempo, 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 and no one does it better than the Marshall Thundering Herd. So they have to come into this ball game versus Northern Illinois and not only control tempo, but also control the pace. And for Northern Illinois in this ball game, you want to force Rakeem Cato to play the middle of the field. You want to take away the outside, both with his legs and also with the passing. He wants to attack outside of the numbers, outside of the hash marks, force him to play down the middle of the field and keep him boxing in the pocket. And that bodes well for your chances to play successful defense versus him. And the linebacker play is going to be crucial. I think they have to do a better job this game stopping the run and also taking away the middle of the field. It ties right into my first point. But linebacker play for the Huskies will be important. And quarterback Drew Hare getting into an early rhythm throwing the football goes a long way in helping NIU win this ball game because, again, they operate well off play action. We know they want to come in and run the football. If they open up the game throwing, that's just going to help them out later on as far as running the football because it's going to loosen up that box, force Marshall to put that extra safety back deep or keep him back deep, and that way you'll be able to run your football effectively like they've done all season long. The biggest X factors in this ball game for the Thundering Herd will be the play of their safeties. You look at free safety AJ Leggett and strong safety Tyus Letman having to play a huge role in the run defense department and also keeping their eyes on their luggage as far as play action is concerned because again if you get caught looking in the backfield a lot or often versus Northern Illinois they can gas you with big plays deep down the field. So I think both safeties play a huge role and will be the biggest X factor for Marshall. The biggest X factor for the Huskies will be the play of their defensive line. They've been solid all season long. You look at Perez Ford, the defensive end, also Jason Meehan. They've done a great job in getting pressure on a quarterback, which is huge, versus Rakeem Cato. They have to do a great job this game of playing with push versus pressure, but also as far as stopping the run. Let's be honest. Marshall does a great job in rushing the football. Right now, they're averaging 6.1 yards of carry on the ground, so they can't get over-aggressive in their rush lanes for getting about the run, trying to play the run on the way to the quarterback. They have to play gap discipline, not only versus the running game, but also versus Cato. Now, here are some 2015 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ball game. And for the Thundering Herd, you look at quarterback Rakeem Cato, one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the country. Forget size, forget the naysayers. This is a guy that reminds me a lot of Kelly Moore and what he brings to the table from a pure passing standpoint and plays excellent football from the neck up. And for Northern Illinois, they're a very young football team. A lot of guys that are juniors and sophomores that are very good prospects, but the senior prospect is Duchesne Durante, outstanding free safety at 6'2", 195. Quarterback Michael Payton is definitely a campus legend for the Marshall Thundering Herd. In 1991, he threw for over 3,300 yards and 26 touchdowns, leading Marshall to the FCS or 1AA championship game. And in 1992, his senior season led them once again back to the championship game in which they were able to win their first ever national title, throwing for over 3,600 yards and 31 touchdowns that year en route to winning the Walter Payton Award, which is given to the top player at the FCS level. Offensive lineman Matt Clarkson is definitely a campus legend, helped pave the way for LaShawn Johnson's single season rushing record and also becoming a consensus All-American, an integral part to that offensive line of the Northern Illinois Huskies during that time.
In the 2002 GMAC Bowl, which is now the GoDaddy Bowl, the Marshall Thundering Herd took on the Louisville Cardinals, and led by quarterback Byron Left, which is four touchdowns, they were able to jump out to a 38-7 lead and route to a 38-15 victory over the Cardinals. In the 2004 Silicon Valley Classic, Northern Illinois took on the Troy Trojans, and this was a tie ball game in the first quarter until Lionel Hickenbottom got into gear, and his rushing efforts helped lead the Huskies to a 34-21 victory. I like Marshall in this ball game. I believe both teams do a lot of the same things very well. They can dominate the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. They can run the football with the best of them, and they also play great defense in the back seven. I believe the difference will be the passing game, and you have to look at Marshall and, the, and their ability to make you defend every blade of grass and every quadrant of the field. I think Raheem Cato will have some success throwing the football against that Northern Illinois secondary. I like the Thundering Herd.